1837, it all began at the confluence of the Illinois and the Fox Rivers, Ottawa, Illinois, my hometown. Ottawa came from the Native American word Ottawa, meaning to trade because of fur traders in the area at the time of settlement. Ottawa is the county seat of LaSalle County. Now, as I remember when I was in school back in 1987, now a lot of sources cite different years of settlement for the city of Ottawa. However, in 1987, we celebrated a sesquicentennial, meaning it was the 150th birthday of Ottawa. And that's how I came up with um, 1837 as when it began. And there was a song that we sang back when I was in third grade, when ever Ottawa celebrated its 150th birthday that year. William Reddick was elected a sheriff of LaSalle County and then eventually became Illinois State Senator. Reddick commissioned the construction of a large Italianate house for then $25,000 and the Reddick Mansion was built and it is one of the largest surviving homes in Illinois to predate the Civil War. On August 21st, 1858, Ottawa was the site of one of the first Lincoln-Douglas debates, and those took place in Washington Park, and a stone and statues commemorate the, Lincoln, the first Lincoln-Douglas debate to happen. And there have been reenactments of the debate in past years. Other tidbits of history. The Illinois-Michigan Canal does run through Ottawa. And it was a very important factor in the growth of Ottawa. On February 8th of 1910, William Dixon Boyce was a resident of Ottawa at that point and incorporated the Boy Scouts of America. And then he also incorporated the Lone Scouts of America. And I, although I don't show this in the video because this video is focused on downtown Ottawa, there is a memorial built on Ottawa Avenue honoring W.D. Boyce and it sits at the corner of Ottawa Avenue and Boyce Memorial Drive. And he is buried in the adjacent cemetery. And therefore features a scouting museum which opened to the public in 1997. Now personally, when I'm talking about the population of Ottawa, I just rounded up because there are some unincorporated holes. So I'm so the estimate is uh, is about 20,000 people that live in Ottawa or around Ottawa. It sits 80 miles southwest of Chicago and 10 miles east of the famous Starved Rock State Park and also Matheson State Park as well. That park doesn't seem to get a lot of love in, like Star of Rock does. So the focus of my video is the downtown Ottawa district, which looks very beautiful with all the flowers blooming in the summertime. Right now I am walking along LaSalle Street down toward the courthouse, which is a which is a major shopping area in Ottawa besides the big box stores of the north side. And LaSalle Street used to feature a lot of national and local chains, such as Gallahan Shoes, J.C. Penney's, Carson Perry Scott, Montgomery Ward's, Nunbush Shoes, 
Leslie's Shoes, Sue Ann Shop, Lady Die, that's still there. The Beehive Restaurant, which is long gone. The Classroom for School Supplies. Sears, which houses Turk Furniture now. And a privately owned department store named Famous, not related to the uh, department store chain that was in the St. Louis region. And has a downtown movie theater, The Roxy. And Woolworth was once in downtown Ottawa. So it may sound like I'm being partial because this is my hometown, but I think the downtown has improved tremendously over the last 30 years. 30 years ago, it, it was looking pretty bad. A lot of empty storefronts, stores were closing because of the nearby Peru Mall and also the big box stores that are on the north side of Ottawa. And I am amazed with the comeback that Ottawa has made, especially with the planting of the flowers and everything. And they received national recognition for the uh, Bloom Ottawa program, as you can see here. A lot of nice plants and everything. So the courthouse that you see now was built in the early 1880s and this is one of two courthouses in Ottawa. The other one being on the north side which focuses on the criminal cases. And that one was built in the late 70s. This, this one that you're seeing right now is focused on civil lawsuits and everything like that and houses a whole bunch of old records. So, I hope you enjoy the tour of this downtown. Um, and so far, this is probably the nicest downtown that I have done so far for this series. Like I said, I'm not being partial, but because of all the nice plants and the major improvements done in downtown Ottawa, it really, I'm really proud of the city. And I haven't lived there for over 20 years now. And it's always nice to come back and visit my hometown. So if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, please, for a lot more content to come. Make sure that you like, comment, and share these videos, please, because doing all that will kill the monster that is the YouTube algorithm. God bless you guys. Continue shopping at your local businesses and continue shopping at your local mall. Thank you very much. And if you have a chance, please visit Ottawa on your way to Starved Rock. Thank you very much. Enjoy the tour. Just remember, this is not a political channel. This is not a political channel.
to the St. Louis based department store, Famous Bar. This was a privately owned department store. So it's Carson Perry Scott. Right, right here was J.C. Penney's. You can see evidence of J.C. Penney's right there. See, Paul, those were original to J.C. Penney's. That over there was Woolworth. 